The Grand Wagoneer gives Jeep its first competitor to the Escalade and Navigator. It's very high end, but with a personality that says Jeep. The vehicle itself um, is not so ostentatious. Um, it's, it's very, uh, it plays into just building upon the strengths of the Jeep name. Inside, you have luxury combined with technology. Seven screens, including one in front of the passenger, where you can be a co-pilot and control the navigation system, or just veg out to a movie. Now, the driver can't see the screen. Now, if the Wagoneer name sounds familiar, Jeep did have one for nearly three decades, and that name still resonates. People actually have a lot of fond memories of it. You know, when you just mentioned the name, people, their neighbors had one, they had one, they've seen it on TV shows. Jeep bringing us to New York to drive the vehicle through the tight streets of Manhattan and then into some of the richest suburbs. As we wound past some multi-million dollar mansions, you could really feel the smooth acceleration. The cabin was very quiet. Of course, you wouldn't want to take something like this off-road. But you can. Jeep setting up a limited course with some impressive rock obstacles. Now, this wasn't a heavy-duty trail, but these attributes do give you confidence for the water you may face on roads now and the snow that's coming. Now, despite their size, the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer don't handle like big, lumbering SUVs. I love a car where you're driving it and then maybe you casually glance behind your shoulder and you're like, look at all the car back there after you've been driving it for a few minutes and you can't believe how big it is. Jeep has been prioritizing computer chips so they get to these vehicles. They're already being pumped out at the Warren truck plant and they should be on sale very soon. In New York State, I'm Auto Beat reporter Jeff Gilbert.